Good morning, sweetie. <sighs> Good morning. Do you know you make noises in your sleep like snap, crackle, and pop? You don't want to know how you sound, do you? <laughs> Ready for coffee? I'll make you a cup and spoon some fiber powder in it to keep you regular. I've got to hold my nose. Ugh. Tastes like chalk. Is this what we're reduced to? <laughs> I'm afraid it is. And now the end is near. And so I face my final curtain. Oh, I need to dye my hair today. It's looking pretty pathetic with all the grays. Your hair's already dead. Do you still think I'm pretty? Pretty horrendous. Oh! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> you missed me. Come here. Let me give you a big hug. Of course you're beautiful to me, no matter what. Thanks, love of my life. By the way, are you going to the store today? On my list. The UPS delivery is coming today. Leave me $5 for the tip in case you're out. Sure. But see if he'll bring the box inside the door. It's heavy. Even though I'm alone? What if he flirts with me? Give him 10. I meant to tell you something, but I forgot. Excellent. No, seriously. Brad texted me about upgrading our system. Which one? Our digestive system? No, the IT stuff. He gave me a whole big lecture on keeping things up. He thinks he's our parent now. Well, that's why I have you talk to him. I'm not going to reveal my ignorance. So you want me to reveal my ignorance instead? I feel like we're in competition for his attention sometimes when he calls about other things, like we're little children. Sibling rivalry. All right. Can I get back to reading my paper? You never have time to talk. It's always something with you. I'm going to find me a boyfriend who will listen to me. You'll have to go to the cemetery to find one. You can't walk and talk at the same time. You're right. Come here. I love you. Let me give you a big hug. Hey, how you doing? Where's the phone? It's outside in the car. Hey, what's going on over there? Nothing new here. Just doing a few errands. Well, I wanted to meet up soon. Jerry, so glad you called. Let's plan for lunch next week. We'll talk soon. Bye. Did you realize I was asking for the phone and you answered me? But you were on it! <laughs> <laughs> we're getting old, aren't we? You had the phone the whole time! <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. I just read that algorithms can feel pain. What? Time to die. <laughs> Let me finish my paper. Not so soon. We're having too much fun. Do you remember the time we went to California and I was swimming in the Pacific? I thought I was admiring a graceful swimmer who cut graceful moves. <laughs> you must have looked like a dead flounder. <laughs> yeah, i sure I did. I was thrashing around, so jealous, thinking, why can't I swim like that? I thought it was a swimmer in a black wetsuit. Then I saw the fins as the form dove into the water. It was a seal! <laughs> How many times have I asked you to position the soap spout so it doesn't leak down the side of the sink and onto the floor? All right, I'm sorry. You don't respect my wishes. You don't care about me. The world is falling apart and you worry about a little soap on the floor where we don't even walk. I'm the one who has to clean up after you. I cleaned up after you for 50 years. Besides, <laughs> you make a nice errand boy. It's not going to be pretty around here after I'm gone, you old bag. What did you say? I love you. It's not going to be pretty around here after I'm gone. You're right, because I'm going to get me a dog, maybe two dogs, a cat, a bird, and scream at the walls. <laughs> Don't embarrass me in death. I just remembered something. Oh, uh, what is it now? Can I just get through the paper? Get your package. It just arrived. I got an alert on the phone. No, that was yesterday. No, that is right now. I'm telling you, I just got an alert on the phone. Oh, my God. We really do need each other. That's why I call you Bo Fumbles. You even drop things all the time. You fumble stuff. Remember when you dropped the camera on the glacier in Alaska and it broke because you had the lens out? And you? You're no better, tripping and falling. That's why you're Stumbolina. All right. 
we belong together. <laughs> yeah, the best was when I was singing Beyonce's Put a Ring on It song when jumping up the front steps. I fell flat on my face. Thank God I didn't break anything. Hey, don't forget to firm up dinner on Saturday night with the Bernsteins. Uh, yeah, I suppose. What's the matter? We always have dumb conversations with them. Why? It's dinner conversation and company. Does it have to be about curing cancer or something? Yeah, that would be nice. Something stimulating. Actually, I like it when it's just you and me. But once in a while, it's nice to see my friend John. You know, a lot of my close girlfriends have passed. I miss them terribly. So that means you have to be my everything. Uh-oh, kill me now. Why do you say that? You know I like to kid with you. You got me, baby. Don't worry. And I am your everything. You sure are. Pool boy, errand boy, chauffeur boy. That's it. <laughs> chauffeur boy. Oh, my little chauffeur boy. I'll be true to you. Best feeling in the world. I'm so grateful to be here with you. It's an honor. I love you. I love you too.